The US House of Representatives have overwhelmingly approved a document which strongly condemns Moscow's actions against its neighbors, calling them a policy of aggression. Passed with 411 to 10 votes, the resolution slams Russia's continuing political, economic and military aggression against Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova, and the continuing violation of their sovereignty, independence and territorial integrity. The resolution follows Putin's speech to Federal Assembly made on Thursday, where he criticized the deterrence policy conducted against Russia by other states. Russia is open to the rest of the world and ready for developing equal partnership with other countries, said Vladimir Putin. He dismissed treatment Russia through strength and sanctions as ineffective and warned against scheming. Talking to Russia from a position of strength is meaningless, said Putin. By October 31, 2014, Ukraine's state debt and state guaranteed liabilities consisted of hryvna, dollar, euro and yen, denominated loans totaling 945.3 billion hryvnas. The remaining 44.8 billion, given the current exchange rate of 15.18 hryvna to the dollar, already exceeds 679 billion hryvnas. Consequently, the overall debt should have swollen to over 1.04 trillion hryvnas. Meanwhile, according to a survey published by the Transparency International, International Global Anti-Corruption Watchdog, Ukraine remains Europe's most corrupt country. Over a year, it has managed to improve its score by just one point out of 100, returning to its 2012 level and taking a position between Uganda and Bangladesh. Mykolaiv region residents block highway, demanding electricity be turned on. It is reported that 60 people blocked the M14 odessa melitopol novozovsk International Highway. According to local residents, electricity is cut off without prior warning in three villages – Kobleve, Lenina and Morske – without any explanation from the municipal services and local authorities. Power outages affect schools and childcare centers, and children get sick en masse. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.